What's going on guys, welcome back. It is Mystery Box Monday, once again, to start off your week with a little bit of random awesomeness. Got a couple of cars in here, just a few, but I also have 10 packs. We're not opening the 10 packs today, but I'm gonna ask you later on in the video which one you would like to see opened. So, as you can see, we have some mainline cars and two more attempts two more attempts to get the gold bone shaker where is it there it is right in the middle that's the one i want the black and gold 50th anniversary bone shaker so we'll go through the mainline cars first and then we will try our luck and you never know might get it might get it let's just grab a car all right, well, this is a good start, actually. This is the new 1996 Porsche Carrera from the Nightburners series. Pretty cool looking car. I'm pretty sure that this is a brand new casting. Um, we don't get the little logo there telling you whether or not it's a new model here in Australia. Um, it does not say on the back for us either. It doesn't even say what case code this is from. So, if this is a brand new model, let me know, because this is really cool. I'm pretty sure it is a brand new casting, because I can't say that I have ever seen it before. It's got a nice, kind of like a enamel white, gloss white paint job. Got your little Porsche logo, painted headlights, some nice casting in there. Nice detail in the casting I should say. Tan interior. Grey five spoke wheels, five star wheels, whichever one you want to call them. Painted louvers for the rear. Carrera logo. And your light bar kind of not the best tampo job on that one, but what what do you expect? It was one of the first ones I've seen, so of course I'm going to buy it. But really cool. I think this will be a really nice addition to my Porsche collection. Up next, let's go for let's go for this one. Ah, the 1995 Mazda RX7 from the Speed Graphics series with your Mad Mike livery Have I already opened one of these? Hmm... I don't know I've got the feeling I might have already opened one of these but oh well, what the heck They're all going to get opened eventually Have your Hot Wheels Mad Mike uh, I think that says Hot Wheels in Japanese and Mazda on the front there. Hot Wheels logo on the side, although the paint on this one is coming off ever so slightly. Not a problem. k and filters. filters. Uh, can't quite read what that says. Mazda. Nice greyed out wheels once again. These are the uh, 10 spoke wheels as far as I can recall. Very cool addition to my RX-7 collection, the 1995 Mazda RX-7. And what are we going to go for? Let's go for this one. What's this one? Ah, the new Ford Mustang. Yes, I finally found one. Too bad it's not the super treasure hunt. I've currently seen this case uh, in my local stores, so... I've had the opportunity to get a, get into the fresh case and have still not found a super treasure hunt, although I've now found four of these. Uh, I only have two of them. This one plus the one which is a spare, which goes into the, the carded collection. But I could have had four if I wanted to buy them. But this is really nice. I really do quite like this. From the Speed Blur series.
and this one has got grey wheels with your chrome five spokes nice paint job this is kind of like a an aqua blue metallic aqua blue Whoop, don't drop it <laughs> it actually looks really nice it looks a lot lighter on the camera than what it does in person but really cool I might have to I might have to customize one of these I think well this one here I'm not going to customize the unopened one that'd be silly opening it then I'd have to go to the shop and find another one for my collection next we are going to do let's do this one ah yes the Corvette Stingray regular treasure hunt from the Super Chrome series really cool love my Corvettes this one is a plastic body metal base oh man that shiny mirror finish is really cool a little bit of a scratch on the roof oh well it's going to go down the racetrack eventually and get scratched up so what does it matter love the stars and stripes theme on this red windows there's a regular tre regular treasure hunt circle flame logo just looks so cool it's like something evil Knievel would drive not too much detail in the rear being a plastic model but as far as Corvettes go this is really 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 cool really cool I'm gonna to have to try and find another one of these I want to do a I'll do a wheel swap on one of them really like that that's much better out of the package next 66 Chevy Nova from the flame series and this one here is actually rather stunning a really nice red paint with your white and orange flames very cool this one I have to say very very well done as far as the paint job goes and the car itself is really nice also 66 Chevy Nova very cool car love those this I love the chrome, uh, chrome grille looks really nice these wheels actually look pretty good on there too got your weld logo on the side but look at those flames they're such good flames little Hot Wheels logo on the the rear down here chrome bumper such a great paint job goes over the roof and all black interior can't see inside there very well but just that has, that just looks so cool such a cool looking car up next we will go for all right I was going to do this one kind of last I was trying to hold off on it but this is the Scooby-Doo Batman the brave and the bold Batman Batmobile I mean how cool is this talk about a crossover Scooby-Doo mystery machine Batmobile absolutely insane but I can't not get this kind of looks like a face on the front there kind of like a cat's face I suppose it could be the Batman mask if you can see what I'm talking about here gold aero disc wheels really cool green and blue paint job that's just really cool definitely a Batmobile for the collection very nice then we have got the King Cooter the Urban Outlaw King Cooter from the Muscle Mania series in a nice bright enamel red 
Urban Outlaw logo on the side. Urban Outlaw Hot Wheels on the back. Chrome ring around the wheels. Or a red chrome ring, I should say. Chrome grille. Chrome engine. I have to say, this engine looks very small in this car. It looks really small. Nice shiny chrome interior. You can actually see in there very well. Urban Outlaw on the roof. Plymouth logo on the rear. Nice details. Nice looking car overall. But yeah, the engine could be a lot bigger than that, if you ask me. And then up next, we've got the Skyline. The Nissan Skyline GTR BNR32 from the Nissan series. This one with the Yokohama logo along the side. This was also available in blue this year. This has got a nice pearl white paint job with a red stripe along the side. Red chrome on the wheels. Nice detail. Some manufacturing error on the hood. Other than that. Yeah, no, that's definitely not something that's supposed to be there. Love my skylines though. And in white, they look very cool. Nice clean tampos on the rear. It's always a bonus for me. Very nice car. And the last main line is not even a main line. It is one more car from the Larry Wood series. This is the Parson Gasser. Very nice. There you go, Parson Gasser. Really love the old hot rods. And this set has actually got a couple of really nice cars in it. If I can open it. There we go. Wasn't letting me open it for a second then. Here we have it in a nice baby blue colour. Larry Wood. And the pinstriping on the back's nice too. Got some wheelie bars as well, very cool. Such a nice looking car. This is even a Moon Eyes car. Got little Moon Eyes there. Edelbrock, Goodyear. Blown Gasser is what the BG stands for, or Blown on Gas or something like that. Zoomies out the hood, awesome. That's the fuel tank there in the front, as far as I can recall. One seat with a roll cage. Such a cool car. See, we've got the exhaust pipes coming out there. Straight to the ground. No messing around. Very nice car. I have to say, that's a really nice car. All right, let's go, let's go. Let's see if we can get it. When I was in the store, this had a little bit of uh, the sticker coming off it. So what I did in store was I had a quick sneak peek just to make sure it was still sealed. So it being perfectly sealed, I didn't mind that the stick was coming off because I was gonna open it anyway. So, oh, didn't see that. What have we got? Oh man. Okay, well now I've got two of these. How do we open these things? Ah. Here <laughs> we go. World's smallest Hot Wheels, if it'll focus. <laughs> that is tiny. That is smaller than a micro machine. Well, actually, very close to a micro machine size. That's cool. 
<laughs> all right we'll add that over to the display all right here we go last one let's move this out of the way last one where's the little part there we go the little section where you can tear it up oh boo come on 50th favorite 50th anniversary gold bone shaker let's go Ah, another twin mill. Okay. Oh, this one has extra protection in the back, whereas the other one did not. And there we go. The mini, mini twin mill. And some silver paint on the top <laughs> but that's pretty cool it is pretty cool still all right that brings us to the end of an episode but before we go i want to ask you for next week which 10 pack would you like to see opened this is the newest one this one here is also pretty new one and then we have this one with the Dodge Demon very cool now unfortunately there's a few repeat cars in here and then there's this one this here is actually an error this is the new Shelby Super Snake from the Hot Wheels race team series there is supposed to be a tampo along the side so, actually, I'm, not, I'm probably not going to open this one, so we'll have a look at it now. See so some pretty cool cars in here. That bone shaker is so cool. Ford Escort. And that's the exclusive car for this one. Mustang. But you'll notice that there's a few repeats. I will have three of these by the time they're open. Two of these. I've already got one of these open. I've already got two of these. I've already got two of these. So, I've already got one of those. As you can see, there's a few which are going to be in there again. There's the Hudson Hornet again. There's the Escort again. But this one here's got this in it. So, that was why I bought it. Had to get that. Plus, having an extra Hudson Hornet is never a bad thing. So, that now officially brings us to, there we go, I had to bring that back into focus. That officially brings us to the end of another episode. I hope you have enjoyed yourselves. You'll have to let me know which box to open in the comments below. I actually do have one more 10 pack just sitting over there, but it's a little bit too far away for me to reach and it's got stuff on top of it, so I won't open that. It's not actually as good as these other ones. So... Tell me in the comments below which 10-pack you would like to see opened, and next Monday we shall open it. And until then, I hope you're out there hunting, hope you're finding cool things, and until the next video, I will see you then.